Okay, well good afternoon. What we have got in the big silver tank are some coho salmon. These salmon came from Dun Lake and Dun Creek and the Simp Nation helped us by getting these fish and they are visiting a lot of different schools in Kamloops as well as here at the Wildlife Park. So we've got three females and three males in this tank. Or a, we just need one of each for this uh, to, in order to fertilize eggs, in order to hatch some baby salmon. So I'm going to net one of the fish out. Alex is going to grab it in front of the caudal fin. There's a little area called the peduncle. He's going to grab it there and he's dressed in waders, not only so he doesn't go home smelling like a fish, but it's also going to keep him dry. He's got his special wool mitts on so that he can actually hold the fish. If I tried to hold it with my bare hands, they're covered with a layer of mucus or slime and they'll just slip right out of my hands. So he's going to cradle that fish. That fish is a wild salmon. Uh, it, we picked it up out of the creek two days ago and tomorrow that fish gets to be released back in its home creek so it can finish off its life cycle. It doesn't matter on the first fish whether it's a male or a female. If it's a male, we're going to take milk from that fish. If it's a female, we're going to take eggs from that fish. Okay. So he's going to put it in this anesthetic after he grabs it. We're going to leave it in here for 30 or 40 seconds and that's enough to help to calm and relax the fish. Then he's able to lift the fish up and I'm able to jump down and put my fingers along the belly and either milt or eggs will come out of that fish depending on the food. Okay, You'll notice that we've got oxygen going in here. This is the um, oxygen stone right here and that's how I keep the fish alive. When I drive around all day, everything that you in water needs a little bit of oxygen. So this is the oxygen stone that I move back into the tank. Are you ready Alex? <laughs> <laughs> Great job, Elle. Okay. Now we've got a feisty fish here. It amazes me how powerful and how much strength they have. Because a month ago these fish were in the ocean. And after they decide that they're going to spawn, go back home to spawn, they basically, they don't want to eat anymore. They just want to go home. So I don't think that we could say that anybody I know of could not eat for a whole month and have that much energy and that much power. Now the Simp Nation helps us by uh, marking the fish, male and female, because coho salmon are hard to tell. Okay, so Alex, you're going to come around the tailgate, you're going to lift that fish up, and I'm going to dry the vent area off and then take either eggs or milk. Okay. You know, I just put my fingers along the belly. And there's some eggs for us. Okay, that's great. That's all we need. Right? And that's our salmon eggs. Boho salmon eggs. Now that female had enough eggs to fill this whole bag up. On average, the coho female has got about 2,500 eggs. So usually we put about 50 to 60 in every school tank. There might be a few extra in this bag, but um, that's okay. Now we need the milk from the male. Okay, so now we have to get a male. And thank goodness, the Sim Nation, the river where we get the fish from, they've marked the males and the females for us. Because with coho salmon, you can't always tell the difference. The males, they put one little clip in the gill, and the females, they put two little clips in the gill. So we're now looking for a male, so we're going to hold up that fish and make sure it's got that one little clip in the gill before we put it in the anesthetic. Okay, I'll be ready. The male, it's really important that I make sure that the bit is totally dry before we take the milk out. Because the milk is activated with water and after it's activated, it's only, it only survives a very short period of time. Uh, so we have to make sure that we've got our eggs and we're right ready to fertilize before we activate that milk. So once we're inside at the aquarium, then we'll add water to the milk and that will activate, activate it. So you can see he's got a little bit of a hook snout there. Okay. This guy's one of the smaller males, but maybe he's not powerful. All we need, that was the male milk. So there's the milk that we need. We've already got the eggs, and 
Now we're gonna go inside to the aquarium and that's where we'll actually get these eggs from.